Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about non-differentiability. I've drawn a graph of a function and uh, there are three main situations when the derivative will not exist. The first is if my function has a corner point. Let's call this value x1 and we have a corner point the graph has a corner point at x1. My second situation is there's some value around here where, well, it should have been. Let me redraw my graph a little bit. Let's suppose it does this. And there's some value here where my tangent line to the graph is vertical. Remember, the main application for a derivative is the slope of the tangent line. And since the slope of a vertical line does not exist, that means the derivative does not exist at that value. And the third situation, I'll call this x3, is I have a discontinuity. And so f prime of x does not exist at x1, x2, or x3 for three different reasons, but does not exist at those values. Now, let's look at an example here where I'll give you a function and its derivative with part of the domain of the derivative missing. Suppose I have h of x is, and this uh, is one of the uh, problems that is worked out in the homework section, e to the 3x plus 2x plus 5 if x is less than 0, and 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 if x is greater than 0 i greater than or equal to 0. Now, it's derivative, which you're going to have to trust me on that for the moment, since we don't have the ways of finding this yet, or you don't, it is 3 e to the 3x plus 2 if x is less than 0, and this would be 4x plus 5, and the point is what goes here. In other words, does, bigger you know, what this means is, does h prime at 0 exist? So, in order for that to exist, we need to make sure that we don't have any of those three problems that I mentioned before. First off, this, the derivative is always defined, so we can eliminate the uh, vertical tangent line problem. This derivative is not going to exist. At, I mean, it's never going to be a problem when I put in x equals 0 in either one of these rules. But we still have the other two situations that have to uh, match up. So we need the function to be continuous. And I need h prime of x to be smooth. Smooth means that there's no corner point. Okay? So for continuity, we have to go back to what we talked about previously. For continuity, the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of h of x would be the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of my function here is e to the 3x plus 2x plus 5 and we can evaluate that that's 1 plus 5 which is 6 the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of h of x 
would be limit x approaches 0 from the right. In this case, the rule is 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. And that is 3. And so therefore, it is not continuous. Therefore, the derivative does not exist. Okay, now I'm going to alter this problem slightly to make the uh, function continuous. And I'm going to do that by saying, instead of making my function e to the 3x plus 2x plus 5, I'm going to make e to the 3x plus 2x plus 2. So let's call this g of x. It's a new function. Fortunately, that does nothing to the derivative. The derivative of a uh, constant is 0, so changing that constant does not change anything. And um, now the question is, does g prime at 0 exist? Again, we need g of x to be continuous at x equals 0 and g prime of x to be, to be smooth. I fix this, so the limit as x approaches 0 from the left is now 3. I didn't change the right, so therefore this is now continuous at x equals 0. So that means we now have to check the second part of this. I need to make sure that my um, derivative is smooth. And for that, we do the exact same situation here. We take the limit from both sides of the derivative function. The limit as x approaches 0 from the left of g prime of x is the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of 3e to the 3x plus 2, which is 3 plus 2, which is 5. The limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the derivative would be the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of 4x plus 5, which is 5. Since these match, that means my function is smooth. The derivative exists. There is no problem. Since these match, g prime of x, oops, g prime of 0 at 0 is 5. It exists. Notice I didn't change these, so this value would have come out to be 5 um, originally with the function h. The derivative of h did not exist at x equals 0. You must have continuity first before you care about that. Have to check continuity. 